Welcome back to my Vodain Academy channel. So today we continue further into the Schwengenschwein Alu form. We only have a few episodes left. So uh, the following movement consists of a spear motion side kick. I will explain in further detail. So let's start with the sequence. So uh, from the last time we stopped in this position in the Mabu punch. Now we again change side. Try to change side in an explosive way. Watch carefully, see here. All right. The next is uh, the jump. Arpotomne is again a side kick in mid air. So I'm doing it from the side. We stop the foam here. One. Now we go arpotomne, and now we turn with liha, uh, and then to ten. So the kick should be a circular movement and then starting to convert into a side kick. See here, circular movement, convert in side kick. Understand? Let me show you from the front. So after the arpotomne, we do liha, side kick, and then punch similar like in the schwing und schwen ilu form. Let's do it once again. Arpotomne, go, one, two, step, and make a fist long, make sure the right leg is extended, protect with your left hand the ribs, and look to the punch. Let me show you once again slowly on the other side. So, when we are at this position here, then the movement is similar to the ilu. Huh? We go from this, raise the knee, step forward in a combo position. Because of the sequence, this combo position is often a little bit higher. But it is fine to do it low. One, two, but now, what is important from the combo position is that we go into stop kick. One, and then step forward and do the liha and turn to the other side. So you're looking the other way. Watch here. And then step in to combo. And the arms are here in circular motion. So what's the practical use of this movement? As you see in the Schwenk und Schwenk series, we often have certain blocks from below, so you're stopping the hip, and then also attacking the temper here. Yeah? So when you're turning, you go over, you want to attack the head exactly like here. So we, we can discuss if this is practical, but I think it often depends on the combat situation. What is important in the Schwen und Schwen uh, Alu to understand is that the form consists of very wide range uh, of movements. So you're punching from a long distance away. So the practical application of this movement itself is very useful in the long range and can be useful if it is one-handed. In this form you practice it two-handed like all the other blocks that prevent the further uh, movement of the hip, like all the stop kicks and the overcross blocks that you have in this form. So keep this in mind, it's not uh, primarily uh, effective in, in a combat practice, but it's very effective if you want to practice the transfer of your gravity center into the punching. So it is very good to be able to make it at two points uh, similar at the same time, uh, while in actual combat you uh, probably would prefer it one-handed. So, with that said, do not overthink the practical use too much. Try to relax in the form and bring out your maximum power. In the end, what is important is that you can bring out the explosiveness in each attack to really uh, overcome your opponent in combat, regardless of the technique. Yeah? Uh, I think that is one very important point of view in this uh, traditional form training. So let me show you the whole sequence one, one more time. See here.
Let's do it once again from the same side we uh, start the foam with. So this was the sequence for today. Again, you should focus on bringing the same energy over after the jump into the next uh, following movements. So this is why you're stepping into these wide positions and try to roll always forward with your heel and go into the long punch, into combo, and there you do the stop kick and use your full hip and shoulder to rotate the same speed and turn over with the liha and look the other side with the, with the two punches into the temple. So I think that is clear. If you have uh, questions, leave it in the community forum. I, I always have a link below in the video description. Uh, thank you for supporting the channel and see you soon for more episodes. Goodbye.